Well, Dad, I got you here on time. There's your pride and joy just coming off the turntable. Yes, sir, the old Hurricane Express. Hold on, Steve. I'll take her down. You're jealous of this old boiler, Dad. Why shouldn't I be? My boy, she's part of me. Or maybe I'm just part of her, I don't know. I took her out on her first run. And I hope I'll be at her throttle when I make my last. Too bad the old heap's out of date. What do you mean, out of date? You're talking about the Hurricane Express, the fastest train in the country, the fastest train in any country. Out of date. Huh. Well, I wasn't complaining. Them playthings. <laughs> the Hurricane Express gets you there on time. She's safe and she's sure. Okay, Dad. You stick to your engine and I'll stick to my plane. And I'll beat you to Springfield by three hours, as usual. Oh, yeah? Yeah. If you hauled as many passengers as I do, you wouldn't land them in a week and a half. You win, Dad. Don't let your rails get rusty. What are you doing in the enemy's line? <laughs> I'm going to be a passenger on your plane. Gee, that's great. But what a story for the scandal sheet. Miss Gloria Martin, <laughs> secretary to the railroad general manager, does her traveling by air. <laughs> well, this is a special occasion. I'm not going to make a habit of it. I wish you would. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I'll get a big thrill out of seeing our railroad from the air. <laughs> well, well, Gloria, this is an unexpected pleasure. How are you, Mr. Gray? Fine, thank you. Isn't it time you were getting ready, Baker? Why? Aren't pilots allowed to talk to passengers? <laughs> well, sometimes, but not when the manager wants to talk to her himself. I'll see you later, Gloria. I'm glad to see you're getting air-minded at last. When are you going to quit the railroad and come to work for me? Why, I hadn't given it any thought.
American Express is going to crash. What are you doing? I'm going to try and sidetrack one of those trains. You can't make a landing here. You strike up the plane. I've got to take that chance. We can't let those trains crash. Has Baker gone crazy? Tell him I said he's not to attempt a landing. Orders from Gray. I knew he'd stop you. He can't stop me. Orders or no orders. Those people are racing to certain death. <laughs> Mr. Gray, I gave him your orders, but... Will you tell Baker he's fired? You take the plane on yourself. He died instantly. He might have saved himself if he had jumped. Jim Baker wasn't that kind. He knew it was his life or ours, and he gave his. You did this! You killed my father! <laughs> it wasn't my fault! Honestly, it wasn't! Honestly, someone, someone struck me down from behind! Struck you down? Yeah! Struck you down? Uh-huh. And these wrecks haven't been accidents after all. Oh, but who could have held such a grudge against the railroad? Why, there's plenty of them! Old Stratton, for instance. Didn't he threaten to get even with the road for sending him to jail? And didn't he escape a back? Well, whoever is back of it means my father was murdered. And I'll bring that murder to justice that takes the rest of my life. express it gets you there sometime Dad, you've got to go back. Back? To prison? Yes. You were safe in prison. Now they suspect that you're behind all these mysterious accidents on the railroad. There's been another terrible wreck. Oh, uh, never mind the wreck. I know all about it. Dad. 
And you did have something to do with it. Why, Gloria, are you turning against me too? When I tell you the railroad company did frame me, they held out evidence in my trial, that would have cleared me. I do believe in you, Dad, and I'm trying to find the papers at once, but I must be careful. Does anybody suspect that you are Gloria Stratton? No. To them, I'm just Gloria Martin, the general manager's secretary. Good, good. Everything depends upon you. Until you secure that evidence, I'll be a horrid animal, a fugitive from justice. And when you returned from fixing the pump, where was Jordan? When I climbed into the cab, Jordan was just reaching for the throttle. But Mr. Edwards, I'll tell you, I was just coming to. Now we've heard your story, Jordan. Carson. Yes, sir. You reported that 59 ran through your signal. Did you see anybody in the engine cab? Yes, sir, I did. Who was it? Uh, it was Jordan, the engineer. That's a lie! You couldn't have seen me. Oh, I get it. It's a frame-up. And you're in on it. If uh, you're through with me, Mr. Edwards, I... I'd like to get back to my station. All right, Carson, you may go. That concludes the inquiry. Gordon, you will remain. The evidence in the case proves that you are guilty of criminal negligence. You are discharged. Discharged, am I? After 30 years of faithful service. Now the lying word of a boomer agent that drifted in here about three months ago. Need you render a decision now, Mr. Edwards? As counsel for the road, I feel that this matter requires further investigation. The evidence is clear. My decision is final. So you're making me the goat. For the past three months, things have been going wrong on this road. Late trains, open switches. Overlapping orders, mysterious tricks, and you can't find out who's responsible. Well, you're not going to frame it on to me. Nobody's trying to frame anything on you, Jordan. You're discharged for cause. Oh, that's the answer, is it? So you're blacklisting me, driving me out of railroading. All right, Mr. Edwards, you've made a marked man out of me. Now you watch my smoke. Is that a threat? I am done talking. Actions speak louder than words. I believe Jordan told the truth. There must be someone behind all these wrecks, someone with a grudge against the railroad. Why, Larry, what makes you say that? Didn't you notice how Carlson acted in there? He was afraid of something. He knew more than he told. And I'm going down to Plainville tonight and check up on him. Larry, what good would that do you? Well, I intend to find the man that caused that wreck and murdered my father. Stevens. Even if Jordan is innocent, we can't admit that there have been any mysterious happenings on the road. We've lost too much business already. The air transport company is eating into our passenger traffic and... Do you suppose that Walter Gray could be our mysterious enemy? I wouldn't be surprised. You know, he's never forgiven you for having fired him as traffic manager of the road. I know, but there's someone else I have more reason to suspect. Who's that? Now that you mention it, 
You know, it is strange that all these things have happened since he escaped from prison. You know, I'll never be safe until Stratton is again behind the bars. Now, this man will be in your engine cab throughout the run. She'll be wrecked. Quick, the wrecker. He's on the Hurricane Express. Don't move. Anything suspicious? No, not a thing. Okay, Bill? Okay.
won't be long now. And what a smash it's going to be. But what's going to happen to the record? He's on the train. Don't worry. He won't be on there when she crashes. It's only Bill. Hello, Bill. Seen the record yet? Drag me in here. Knock me cold. A wrecker. That guy Larry Baker put it in and stopped the wreck. How are we going to get the gold out now? Where is the record? Why, he got away in the plane. Here he comes now. Well, he's come back to get the gold. You stay here and guard the gold. Take no chances. Shoot to kill. I've got you covered. Get out out of there. Larry Baker. So you're the wrecker, huh? I am not. It was the conductor that killed the engineer and guard. The conductor, eh? Well, we got the man that slugged you, Bill. Can you identify him? I tell you, he's the wrecker. He was fighting the fireman when I came up in my car. In your car, eh? Yes, I was chasing this train to get him. The man that murdered my father in yesterday's wreck. How did you know the wrecker was on this train? I found out at the station in Plainville. And you're positive that this was the man you were fighting with in the engine cab? I'll swear to it. That proves your whole story a pack of lies. I found him tied up in the compartment of a Pullman car just before the crash. Like everybody's been seeing me in two places at the same time. Show us what you're talking about, Sam. Get busy with the crew. Clear the engine. Back her down the main line. The Hurricane Express must get through on time. Can you beat that? It sure looks like me.
wonder Baker thought he saw me. This proves he told the truth. So well, that's how the wrecker works. Well, he can't be far away. Now, let him go. This clears Baker. The wrecker again. We can head him off the next station. I'll get the emergency pole. transport line. The one man who had good reason to want to wreck our train. That's a lie. Who is this crazy fool? It's Tom Jordan. He used to work for the road. Yeah, you're the one that made me lose my job. You slugged me and caused the wreck. I don't know anything about it. Just what are you doing here, Mr. Gray? Why, uh, I, uh, I was flying overhead and saw the train crash and came down to see if I could help. You did not. You were on the train. I had my eye on you from the start. But you gave me the slip just before the wreck. I'm sorry, Mr. Gray, but we'll have to hold you until we clear this up. Why, this is ridiculous. I better phone ahead and stop the engine at Junction Point. Look, here's the car. We can chase the engine. Good. You see that Mr. Gray here is turned over to the authorities. And you better stick with him, Jordan. We'll overtake the train at the junction. Talk like a fool. If I hadn't run off with the express car, those robbers would have got the gold. But, Dad, the railroad company already believes that you're the wrecker. This makes it look worse. I'm not trying to steal the gold. It gives me a whip hand over the railroad. The whip hand? What do you mean, Dad? They sent me to prison on Framer. They held out evidence that would have cleared me. And they've either produced that evidence, or they'll never get this gold again. You... Wait, Larry. He's my father. Your father? Yes. He's trying to save the gold from the record. He thought you were one of his gang. Oh, so you're working for the railroad, eh? Yeah. I'm working for the railroad. Why, look!
Get that gold. Wait a minute. What? We can't face that machine gun. I've got a better plan. Ready to shove off when we come back, Sandy. Okay. I didn't hear until I get the rest of the gold aboard. All set to go, Sandy? Okay. before you pull the cord. You'll be all right. <laughs> if she hadn't crashed so far away, we'd still have a chance of getting the gold. I've got it. The engine. You're right. We can get her running. We can run down there in no time. Gloria. Dad! Please, wouldn't have get this gold away from here at once before the wreckers' gang arrive. But they're miles away from here now, Dad. But they must have seen the plane crash, and they're sure to follow us. Well, there must be a farmhouse around here where we can get a car. Yes, that's a good idea. Oh! oh. Dad, what is it? Oh, I hurt my leg when I landed, I guess. Now, you two go after a car, and I'll, I'll wait here to get back. I'd better wait here with Dad. He seems to be badly hurt. 
Please go alone. I'll be back soon. Now, quick, quick. We've no time to waste. Oh, Dad. You're not hurt at all. Oh, well. I had to do that in order to get Beggar to leave us here alone. So he wouldn't suspect anything. Dad. You're not going to steal the gold. I'm going to use it as a weapon to fight the railroad. But that's not the way to clear yourself. I'm justified in using any means against the people that sent me to prison on a false charge. They held out evidence that would have cleared me. Neither they'll produce that evidence or they'll never see that gold again. Don't you say you're only making it worse? Oh, nothing is worse than rotting in jail when you know that you're innocent. Matthews, I think I saw a light flash in the cab of that engine. Yeah? Well, you get your gun ready. We'll hand those birds a little surprise. It's the railroad thing. They left that car in the brush. Let's pass it. Gloria, this is the last box. Mine now. If you damage the car, honey, I'll take it out of your deposit. Well, I'll be careful. far from it now. There they are. Stand where you are, Baker. We're going to save you the trouble of getting that gold out of the plane. Here, Sandy, watch him while we get the stuff out. What you got there, Baker? It ain't here. The gold's gone. You look at it. Baker's got the gold. Stop him! any further, Dad. Someone might recognize you. When is the next train to town? There's an early local in a few minutes. Thank you.
Anybody hurt? No, I guess not. But the thief who were chasing got away. Lucky you weren't killed. Well, I'll have to report this. You better come back to town with me. where the gold is. We've got to get a hold of her. She'll tell. You slip off the train to the next station and phone Jake and tell him to meet the train with a taxi at the terminal. Never mind that. All we want out of you is where Baker hit the gold. You'd better come through. We know you were with Baker when he stole the plane. Speak up, all right? <laughs> I'm giving you just one more chance to talk. Up with your hands, everyone. Larry! Of you. Quick, lawyer, get the police while I keep them covered. So you're the wrecker. The man who murdered my father. I swore I'd get you. You're not going to... Shoot me down in cold blood. Why shouldn't I? You didn't give my father a chance, did you? Don't shoot him, he knows where the gold is. What's the rush, sister? No, you don't. You're staying right here till the record gets through with you. I've got you covered. No, you haven't dropped that gun, Baker. Can't see me, eh? Well, that's too bad. What did you do with the gold balls you took for my men today? Surprised you, eh? Think I was expecting you. Something must have gone wrong. I am not going to wait any longer. The record's not going to get away from me this time. Well, go ahead and shoot. That's the signal the detectives are waiting for. Oh, it kind of worries you, eh? Right. 
Inspector, I killed him. Larry Baker. The man we met in the hall was the wrecker, wearing a mask. You search the house, the rest of you outside. He can't be far away. Any sign of him? Uh -uh. The wrecker. My baker's gone. Got you at last. Take off that mask and let's see who you are. Baker, say, what did you want to bring his body here for? He's not dead, you fool. He ain't. But you told us we were to... I know what I said, but Baker knows where the gold is. We've got to make him talk first. Pull him out and see if you can bring him to. Dead to the world. You must have hit him an awful wallop. Well, I can't wait till he recovers. I've got to get back to the office. If I'm not there in the morning, it may arouse suspicion. As soon as he comes to, make him talk and phone me. That'll hold him till he wakes up. Come on, let's finish our game. What's that? Sit down and play your hand. If you're going to jump every time a rat runs across this room, you'll give us all the willies. trick him out into the open, we stand a good chance of capturing him. And his gang, too. Yeah. How are you going to work it? Everything's okay. You can see for yourself. There's nothing to get jumpy about. hunted around for the rest of the night, Mr. Edwards, but we couldn't find a trace of the wrecker or how he got Larry Baker away. You've got to find him. 
his mysterious attack on the Hurricane Express are ruining this railroad. Yes, and making plenty of business for Walter Gray's air transport company. How about Gray? Are you having him watched? No, sir. Well, do so at once. We've got to find Larry Baker and unmask the wrecker. Hemingway, get over to the airport at once. Don't let Walter Gray get out of your sight. Okay, Chief. This is a pleasure. What brings you here? Nothing, Mr. Gray, except that I've lost my job. Oh. My previous offer still holds good. Why not come to work for me, Gloria? Thank you. When do you want me to stop? Right now. I'll show you your office. I've uh, held this in reserve for you a long time. Hello, Mr. Jordan. Good morning. Can I have a word with you, Mr. Gray? Sure. Go right into my office. I'll be with you in a minute, sorry. You're taking an awful chance having that girl in this office. No, oh, nonsense. She can't do any harm. And I tell you, we're under suspicion now. We've got to be careful. Hello? Hey! I've had a hard time trying to locate you, Gloria. Larry is leading the Wreckers' gang to Logan's Flats. The Wrecker's going to meet them there. Larry is gambling with death. The Wrecker will kill him the moment that he finds out that he can't produce the gold. Get help, Aunt. All right, Dad, I'll hurry. Mr. Edwards, please. Hello, Mr. Edwards. This is Gloria Martin. Larry Baker is planning to trap the wrecker. If you send your detectives out to Logan's flat, you can capture him and his gang. How do I know this isn't some trick of yours? But Larry is taking this desperate chance to capture the wrecker. You've got to believe me. I'll go out there with your men myself. All right. I'll have Matthews round up his men and meet you in front of the building. Mr. Edwards wants you. They're going to capture the wrecker. I've got to stay here and... You've got to go. There isn't a moment to lose. Well, Larry's life is at stake. <laughs> hey, what'd I tell you? They must have overheard us. What if they did? We'll beat them out there in my plane. you said, Baker. 
Now show us where you've hidden the gold. Well, I've got to get my bearings first. There was a landmark near this spot. any landmark around here. You could have seen it by now. No stalling, Baker. Or I'll... The record. And he's just in time. Did you get it? It looks like Baker's pulling a stall on it. Quit stalling, Baker. Show us where the gold is. And be quick about it or... Or you'll shoot me, is that it? That's exactly what will happen. Well, a fine chance you'll have of finding the gold with me dead. I'll give you till the count of three to decide. Get ready, Barney. I know that Gray is not the wrecker. But, Dad, how can you be so sure of that? I can't tell you now, Gloria, but I, I know it. Well, one thing is certain, Dad, you've got to give the girl back to the railroad. What? And give up the only chance that I have of forcing him to clear me? Well, it's the best thing for you to do. The Edward's death has changed the situation entirely. Now we know that he wasn't holding back the information that'd clear you. Larry is right, Dad. The theft of the gold is the one... Give it back to them. The wrecker's the one we must get. All right. I'll do it. Oh, Dad. Well, I never did believe that you were responsible for wrecking the Hurricane Express. Report for duty. I'll see that you get your old run back. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Hello? Yes? Stephen's talking. Who? Stratton? You have the gold shipper that was stolen from the Hurricane Express? You'll find it in the old Forsyth mine. Thirty-five paces from the entrance to the North Tunnel. Is that right? <laughs> you got to hand it to the wreckers. I'll bet the detectives are howling yet about the way we rescued Gray. <laughs> <laughs> Fine chance you got to prove you ain't the wrecker now. So that's the wreckers game, huh? to fasten his guilt onto me. Sure. That's why he let you live. While the police are hunting you, the wrecker will be sitting free and easy, with nobody suspecting him. 
<laughs> He's smart, all right. Hey, hello. Yeah, it's the boss. Yeah, sure, Chief. Right away. The wrecker says the gold is hidden in the abandoned mine shaft. The railroad detectors are on their way there now. We've got to beat them to it. The wrecker learned of your message to Stevens and he's leading the railroad detectives to the goal. Be long now, Mr. Stanton. We'll wait till the record's about to enter the mine, and then we'll bring our little supplies. The record's not with us. He's all with us after all. <laughs> You're not Stratton. Preparing pool won't trouble us again. All our enemies are out of the way, and the gold is ours. It's back! Don't you? It's the wrecker wearing a mask. See, he's given us a signal now. I thought you said you were going to wear a grave mask. We nearly shot you by mistake. I had to change my plans the last minute in order to fool Baker. Get busy, boys. The gold's over here. Clear that stuff away. Hustle now. The gold is under it. The gold is left. They won't get it away from us this time. It all looks good to me. Don't move. I've got you covered. Larry Fish. Okay, Larry, we've got him. Stratton himself. Yes, thanks to Stratton, I've got you. And I'll get the record, too. All right, Gus, let him have it. Look out, Stratton. Step for your life. Matthews, you showed up just in time to save it. Well, the sooner we get this stuff out of here, the better. I'll help you put it in your car. Oh, 
Hello. Hello. Operator. This is an emergency call. Get me. Crestview. 4211. Hello. The Wreckers gang are holding me a prisoner in a warehouse near the freight yards. Yes, Mr. Gray. I know where it is. I'll be right over. Me to phone the police? Well, the fact is, Gloria, I'm afraid the wrecker is your father. Quick, hi, Gloria. We'd have got the loot easy if those detectives hadn't showed up when they did. What are we going to tell the wrecker now? So, you failed. Never mind the excuses now. We have one more chance to get our hands on the gold. Stevens has ordered it shipped on the Hurricane Express tonight. I'll be on the engine myself and stop it at the siding near Ash Fox. The two of you be there with a car to take the gold away. Get going now and see that there's no slipping up this time. Come on, he won't get away. I tied the knot myself. Now you believe my father's not the wrecker. I never dreamed it was Jordan. Hurry, Gloria. We must warn the railroad. No. If we do that, they'll never get the wrecker. Mary Baker's the one we must warn. They should be here by this time, Larry. The Hurricane Express will be along in any minute. Yeah. Here they come now. Thank <laughs> you. 
what's the meaning of this, Jordan? Why, the wrecker struck me down. The faker got him. And the wrecker is gray after all. No, he isn't. Walter Gray. Then the wrecker's wearing a mask. Bad shape. See if there's a doctor on the train, Bill. Help me get this mask off him, Henny. Mr. Stevens, the wrecker. Your father and I discovered the truth today, but we had no proof. That's why your father returned the gold to the railroad, to set a trap for Stevens. So you got me, Matthew. <laughs> but you wouldn't have done it if Baker hadn't... Leave me alone. You can't do anything for me. I can't last very long. Stratton! Wait. Stratton's innocent. I framed him. I wanted to be general manager. So I started to get rid of Stratton. The directors gave Edwards the job, so I had to use other means. I caused all the wrecks in order to ruin the railroad so that I could buy it at my own price. I meant to use the gold to advance my scheme. I'm sorry, Stratton. I hope. I congratulate you, Stratton. When you're back as general manager of the railroad, I hope we can get together and merge our lines into a real transport company, combining the best features of rural and air for our public service. And Larry, if you can forget the rotten way I've treated you, I would like to have you back as chief pilot. Thank you, Mr. Gray. Get back to your cab, Jordan. The Hurricane Express must go through on time. <laughs> 